then the Southern Poverty Law Center would have been on a lot of this stuff. You've heard of the SPLC. It's a phony anti-hate group that exists to crush people they don't like, to tar conservatives' organizations as fellow travelers with the KKK or whatever. Mark Accordian is executive director at the Center for Immigration Studies. His group just sued the SPLC for designating them as a hate group. Finally, someone is fighting back against this. What is the basis of this lawsuit, Mark? Uh, our attorneys decided the way to go was to file a RICO lawsuit under the Racketeer-Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, which is used in the criminal part by, you know, against the mafia or whatever by the government, but there are civil parts where private individuals can file suit. And the basis of the claim is they are committing wire fraud by falsely describing us as a hate group in order to do harm to my organization. Has it done harm to your organization being it's designated? It's done some. I mean, uh, you know, we've, we have a, a body, a reputation, a body of work that makes it hard to, to plausibly call us a hate group. I mean, we've testified before Congress more than 100 times. We've been cited in Supreme Court decisions. Right. We publish real professors, um, the work of, of professors from legitimate universities. Nonetheless, it has, in fact, had an effect. One example that we mentioned in the suit, Amazon has this program where you can designate a uh, nonprofit group to get a small amount of revenue every time you buy something. We were removed from that program, and the person who communicated that to us made the mistake of actually saying what the reason was. In print, he said, we just get our list from the SPLC. So it's just, that's what's remarkable to me. So the SPLC is just the Praetorian Guard of the Democratic Party, obviously, fighting for the status quo, seeking to crush anyone who stands in the way of power. But they still seem to be taken seriously by media outlets and by companies like Amazon. Why? It's a good question. Um, I'm not sure why. I mean, I think they're you know, this is some a kind of thing you see a lot in the tech industry, for instance, where they just assume that progressive political views are just the normal political views, and anybody who doesn't hold them somehow is weird, is and to be shunned. And I think that's part of what it is. You see the same thing with journalism, where a lot of uh, media simply cite the SPLC's hate group designation as just sort of a fact. You know, this person is this old, he's wearing, you know, a blue suit, and he's been designated as a, you know, hate group by the SPLC. That's starting to change because they really have overreached, and they've gotten slapped down a couple of times. There was a Muslim reformer, a liberal Muslim yeah. anti-extremist. Oh, of course. Um, they labeled him an extremist, and he sued. They settled because they knew they were going to lose for three million plus dollars. Um, I don't expect them to go quite that easily in this case, but I think we have a pretty strong case. You have a very strong case. And I looked at the accusations they leveled against you because you're a guest on this show, and I was interested. And they had, there was no basis for saying that about you. It was shocking. It was, I think it's liable, but we're rooting for you, of course. Mark, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, a new report exposes Google for blacklisting certain video searches on YouTube. You can probably guess who they targeted. We've got the details after the break.